John here guys and today we're here with the tiny trainer this is the sequel even better because this time we're going up with HD zero analog just wasn't good enough for this tiny little racing tool and now you can have all of the glorious HD going directly to your eyeballs and we'll see if this sequel is better than the original. Did you know that you can use this exact craft to win up to $25,000 in prizes at the Milwaukee Montessori School race? That's right, the ice race. Details at the end of this video, thousands of dollars in prizes. This tiny spec racing machine is going to have hd video feed courtesy of the hd zero system that is finally getting a new module that will hit shelves any day now this build is using the spec tiny turner motors the 1404 4533 kv motors the j himku pro whoop all in one board the hd zero shark bite whoop mount video transmitter with the hd zero v1 camera rounding that out we have the foxier lollipop micro antenna along with the ghost single antenna receiver now normally you would have an intricate led system in here with addressable leds don't mind what you normally would do that makes your tiny drone light up like the Griswold's driveway on Christmas Eve. But since we're using a lot of that room under the canopy for the HD system, I went with a custom LED that has 14 LEDs in a row, but is still addressable for color changing spec races where you may be assigned a color before each heat for maximum nerd appreciating spectator fun. Note, 533 has an HD canopy for the tiny trainer. However, I'm using the original one that I decided to cut up with some side cutters because I forgot to order one before Mayhem despite staying in the same Airbnb as both owners of 533 and not only could I have gotten free shipping I could have gotten it hand delivered don't be like me and just order the right canopy before you start your build they are crafting new options for every SKU in their store constantly and it's fantastic to see the jobs and Wozniak of FPV Racing work tirelessly to ensure that every second of our hobby fun is filled with exactly the parts that we are craving. Now I'll be putting this with my custom 533 hybrid pinch stick ends. That's right, the Johnny 5 stick inputs. Many of you guys have been lamenting the lack of stock of these, but rest assured Mondo and the rest of the crew are working day and night to create stock that would actually accumulate if you guys weren't using those racer-like reflexes to constantly hit F5 on the inventory pages so that you can buy up all the stock the second it drops. The full-size HD0 systems just don't have the type of footprint that I need to be able to run it in the Open Racer Pro frame that I'm running right now. However, the Tiny Trainer uses whoop mounting already so it's only an additional few grams in order to convert this tiny flyer over to hd0 i can still use my ghost uh, racing system which is my system uh, preferred at the moment this is going to be my hd thing that i'm going to fly a lot can one of these keep up with a five inch freedom spec build i don't think it can but if i can use this as a training tool it will be quite nice i'll always have something that i can fly you know the ice race is coming up and if you were flying one of these you could take home one of the gigantic seven thousand dollar prize pools so while it may cost you a couple hundred bucks to build this thing up you may fly it just well enough in order to win yourself thousands of dollars in prizes now a couple of those students interviewed me for their youtube channel so go check them out they did a fantastic job and they have a really cool up and coming drone program at their school check out all the cool pilot videos they're putting out they actually just put one out with screecher i met him at mayhem and he's one of the very fast up and coming young pilots in the nation so let's get really excited as we head into tiny trainer season as soon as i set this up i charged all eight of the 3s batteries i had drove down the road and flew them all i immediately sped straight home cooked dinner while i charged them back up again so i could get another set before dark it's been years since I've flown anything on the first day, nearly 20 packs. What was different about this little HD racer? I've been on a search since I started racing to have something 
that would simulate the feel, but quiet enough that you can practice without terrorizing everyone on your block. Something that would build instead of break your muscle memory every time you fly it. Was that what was different? Then I realized what was different was me. Over the years, thanks to this channel, I now get to try almost everything that hits the market. When a kid gets every single video game or every single action figure that's out there, over time, you start to get less excited for each one. I'm certainly not complaining, but one of the things I miss is getting super excited about a new product. So excited you can't sleep, you dream about it. So what was different about this HD Tiny Trainer for me? I was having fun. Racing around is a rush of adrenaline, but the HD video feed is what truly immerses you. Being able to see where you're going and moving your fingers as fast as your mind can even think of where to point you. It's a deeper connection than you get with the older analog feeds, and it's a closer interaction than you get with the DJI digital feed that adds just enough latency to slow you down and make you think about what you're doing. It allows you to turn the part of your brain off that measures time and thinks about what you have to do at work the next day or that your homework is almost due. Just exist for a moment free of gravity, living in speed. Thank you 533 and HD0 for reminding me about what I love about this hobby why it's the longest hobby I've ever managed to keep and most importantly for letting me turn off the camera and the microphone and just have fun. Thank you.